More twists and turns are coming in by the minute concerning that 25 year old man found alive after he went missing eight years ago. And as those new details come in, there are many more questions we have about where he's been all these years. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor has been speaking with neighbors who are stunned to find out the man who they say lives on their street was ever a missing person in the first place. Yeah, these neighbors were just completely shocked because they never even knew that Rudy Farias was missing, let alone for eight years. They tell me that they knew him as Dolph, short for Rudolph. They told me they see him often, they text with him, they even hang out with him. Like, I'm confused right now. I'm like, what's going on? These neighbors are shocked after seeing reports that missing 25-year-old Rudy Farias was found after missing for eight long years. Court records reveal his mother lives a few houses down from them, and they tell us her son lives there and they hang out with him often. He used to come in my garage. Some of my and chill with, my, chill with my cousin, my son, my daughter. She's at work right now, but yeah, boy, ain't been missing since he was no. Both say they've spoken to him in the last five months and even text. Other neighbors say they've seen him living there for years. We were chilling, laughing, good days, time. Some days he goes to the park and sit in the park around the corner by himself. Houston police say they got a call on Thursday about a man sleeping outside a church in Magnolia Park. He had something on him with a family member's identification, police say, and that's how they were able to contact his mom. Then Texas for the missing tweeted out over the weekend that man was Rudy Farias, who had been missing since 2015 when he didn't return back from a walk with his dogs. His mother shared pictures with ABC 13 of her son at the hospital, telling us he was found with cuts and bruises and even cried to me over the phone, saying she believed her son had been kidnapped and hasn't seen him in years. His mother told officials at the time of his disappearance that he suffered from depression and PTSD since his brother died in a motorcycle accident in 2011, something these neighbors say he spoke about. He said he had a, lost a brother in a motorcycle accident. I know when he's thinking about his brother, he wouldn't come, he really wouldn't come hang out. He'd go sit back down in the back of the woods by himself. And now they're trying to wrap their heads around why he or his mom would ever say he's been missing for the past eight years. And I just got off the phone with his mother just a few minutes ago, and I asked the mother about who the neighbors have been seeing, and she was insistent with me that the person they were seeing was her nephew. So she showed me a picture of her nephew. I showed that picture to the neighbors you just heard from, and they said, absolutely not. That is not the person they know as Dolph. So, so many questions here. I have reached out to Houston police to ask them about this because it's a holiday they're not in right now, but we do know that they are set to speak to him tomorrow. Of course, we are going to stay on top of this one. We're live in Northeast Houston. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.